everyone, it's Linnea for iCrafter. Today I'm using the Slimline Knit, Knot, and Stitches die set to bring a fun and colorful card. This die set has three Slimline dies. Each of these dies are about eight and a quarter, eight and a half inch is long. And so you're going to be able to use them on your Slimline cards. But today I'm going to show you how to create a fun little pattern with the bottom die. And I'm actually going to be able to get two A2 sized cards out of this pattern that we're going to knit together. The top tie that you see here creates a gorgeous pattern that is very detailed and you can use it to wrap around your card and create a fun belly band. The middle die has little holes that will poke holes into your card front and then you can use those to cross stitch a design. But like I said, I'm going to be using the bottom die. I grabbed a few pieces of colored cardstock from my craft room. I created a like half a rainbow or a gradient effect. So I have a light pink, a peach, and then a yellow. And I'm going to do a lot of die cutting. So I used that die along with my iMend self-mending cutting deck and a translucent cutting deck. And I cut out a bunch of these. I cut a few too many, but I'd rather have too many and keep them for a future project than to not have enough. So I'm going to start arranging these in the order that I want them to be on my project. I'm going to have them go from the light pink to the coral to the yellow and then back to the coral and then back to the pink. I found it helpful to lay them out in order before I got started, but you definitely don't have to. All right, I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to show you how to knit these together. You're going to want to take one loop and put it through another. So I like to work from right to left, and you'll see what I mean as we get going. You always wanna work from the back. So I am taking the die that I'm holding in my right hand and pushing it through back to front, the loop of the die on the left-hand side. As I get going, you're going to notice a pattern, and the pattern that I have found that was helpful was to pinch, push, and then pull. So I'm going to pinch that loop that's in my right hand push it through the loop in my left hand, and then pull it all the way through. I'm doing this slowly now, just so that you can see what I'm doing, but I will do this a second time and it will be a little bit sped up. Um, it, this is very easy once you get going. I just kept repeating to myself, pinch, push, and pull, all the way down this slim line knit, knot, and stitches die. You can create as large of a pattern as you want. You could cover a whole 12 by 12 scrapbooking card or um, layout if you wanted to. I'm just going to be using this on a regular card front. So I ended up with a pattern that was about five and a half inches long. Once I get down to the bottom, I'm just going to pull all of those loops all the way through and you can see this pattern already starting to form. Now I'm going to grab another piece of cardstock and do this again. You always want to push your loops through from the back, and I found it most helpful to keep the loop that I am pushing through in my right hand and keep the loop that I am pulling through in my left hand. So you can see here that I need to now move on to my coral color cardstock. So I put that on the right hand side, and I'm going to push that through the pink piece. Again, pinch, pull, push. Pinch that little loop so that it fits through that that other loop, push it through, and then pull it with my left hand. Again, this took just a couple of tries to get the hang of it. It really came along quickly once I got going. So I'm just going to keep on working here. You can see one of my loops got kind of snagged here, so I just kind of wiggled that around till it got uh, pushed all the way through. Again, pinch that loop in your right hand, push it through the loop in your left hand, and then pull it on through. Pinch, pull, Pinch, push, pull was what I kept repeating to myself until I got this whole pattern done. I did quite a large pattern, um, but I kept it in a gradient of colors. I think it's really pretty that way, but I can't wait to try this in rainbow. I think it would be really, really pretty that way. At the end, I like to just pull them to make sure all those loops are fully pulled through, and then I will just keep on going with my pattern, keeping my new piece on the right and my pattern that I'm building on the left, pinching, pushing, and pulling the loops through each other until I have my whole pattern done. 
So here we go. Here's my pink to my coral to my yellow, back to coral, and then back to pink. This didn't take very long at all, and it's such a pretty pattern. Now I do wanna be able to adhere this onto a card base. You could do this a couple ways. I like to use liquid adhesive, so I'm just going to take some masking tape and kind of tape this down to my work surface so that I can be sure that that whole pattern is pulled tight and it's going to stay that way while I add my adhesive. But if you have liquid adhesive or um, spray adhesive, a spray adhesive would work well. I just didn't happen to have any on hand. I don't keep that readily available. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my liquid adhesive onto this. I'm only going about halfway because since this is a slimline die set, this is about eight and a half inches long, which is about half of an A2 card base. So I decided that instead of going slimline, I was going to go with an A2 card and get two for one out of this knitted pattern. So I adhered half of that pattern onto a card base. And then all I'm gonna do is just flip this over and use my scissors and trim off the excess it's really easy to cut through because even though they are knitted together, there's never more than two or three layers of cardstock. I'm just gonna cut that off with my scissors and you're gonna see that pretty pattern on my card front. Then I could do the same exact thing, pulling those die cuts taut, adding some liquid adhesive and putting that onto a second card base. I wanted to keep the sentiment simple because I really want the focus to be on that slim knit, knot and stitches die set. So I die cut the word thanks from the pop-up wiper insert. This is one of iCrafter's first die sets. Cut that out from black cardstock as well as white and offset them and adhered that onto my slimline knit knot and stitches die cut card front. And this card is finished. Thank you all for watching. Please visit the iCrafter website for more inspiration using this and other iCrafter products. Thanks for watching. Bye.